Hello everybody, David here from Martin Lynch and Sons. Mike Zero, Tango, Papa, Tango. Got something a little bit special for you this week, a little bit different. Um, I've got with me the Anytone AT5555. It's a fantastic little 10 meter radio that isn't gonna bust the bank. And off the back of the video last week where we spoke about sporadic key and how 10 meters can just open up a fantastic little radio that you can keep in the shack and will always get you on air when that 10 meter opening appears. Plan today is we're gonna have a little look around the unit and then we're gonna go through some of the menus, some of the things that I like, and it's also got a nice little trick up its sleeve. So we're gonna have a look at that too. So stay tuned and um, let's have a look at this little radio. Okay, so we've turned it round and we're just gonna have a look on what's on the um, front of the 5555. So this is your on and off button, dead easy rotary button. It's also your volume as well. Now you can see while I'm moving the volume button, um, right down here, it will switch from 5555N to tell you what's happening. So if I turn that, you can see it says vol for volume. So we've got volume adjustment. On the top here, we've got inner and outer wheels. So if I change the outer wheel, that's the power. So that's your power control. Then we've got our RF gain, which is kind of cool, nice and easy. What we're used to on other radios. Over here, we've got the squelch. It's got an auto squelch, but you can also set the squelch. So I normally have that um, off because I don't use squelch. Sometimes it's handy to use it in FM, but on SSB, I like to hear what's going on. And then we've got the inner one here, which is your clarifier. Uh, so ni nice and easy. Uh, right on the front of the panel, we've got our main menu. Uh, we've got uh, a mode, a TSQ, DW. Uh, we've got our 10K step. Uh, we've also got a noise blanker. Uh, I, I had this radio at home for a little while um, and I was playing with it on, on 10 meters and the noise blanker was actually pretty good. Uh, when you look at the price point of the radio, um, it, it was really, really good. I was surprised. We've got our scan and skip. So once you've programmed it and it's really easy to program. Um, and then you've got your memory, how we store the memories, um, into the banks. And now those banks are here on the right hand side. We you can see we're in E at the moment and we've got banks of 40 channels, um, or storage spaces in there, H I J. So plenty, plenty storage um, to put our favorite frequencies in. Um, and to put them in, it's, it's simply a press and hold. Now, hopefully we'll have the programming cables on the website very soon. So that'll make it even easier um, for those that want to program it. I didn't program this. You can use this dial pretty much like a VFO. Um, so you, you can just scroll along to your um, frequency um, the other great thing about this, if we push this button, you will see that it starts to flash. And as I press it again, it will move along. And then that allows me to quickly adjust the frequencies in larger steps. Um, so I think the steps within this radio is a hundred Hertz. Uh, then I think it's one kilohertz and then it goes upwards from there. So, um, nice and easy to use easy front screen very very visible so you can put this comes with a bracket so you can put this underneath the shelf or something and just have it scanning uh, through 10 meters um, we've got three meters on here which is also quite cool for again a small radio um, at a good price um, we've got the um, signal strength we've got power and then we've got the swr this unit does have SWR protection. You can turn that off and on. I can't see a reason why you wouldn't turn it off, um, but it does have SWR protection. Uh, upper side band, lower side band, FM, CW. So it covers the lot. Power wise, you're looking at about 60 watts PEP on side band, 60 watts on AM with a little bit of a whistle. So PEP, 60 watts, and then we've got 50 watts on FM. So lovely looking front end. We've got the modular 
um, microphone socket down here, down here, so it's front facing. The speaker is underneath. We'll show you that in a minute when I flip it around and we take a quick look at the back. Speaker's underneath. Um, so I did find that when I had it at home, I, I had to raise it a little bit. If you put the bracket on, that will give it enough and it, it, uh, you, you can hear it. It's, it's a very, very nicely toned radio um, that um, for me, when I haven't got my hearing aids in, I could turn it up quite a lot and uh, annoy the rest of the family. But um, really, really easy to use uh radio and I, I love the the orange and the meters and just everything about it to be honest it's just simplicity at its best um it has channels which you can program like i said memories channels and we can get to those simply by pressing the mem button on the front there and it will put it into um channelize mode or bank mode um for your different memories so really easy straightforward the menu itself you can press and hold and then you can cycle through the usual suspects in there mic gain um you've got oops if i just go back in again it does time out quite quickly so you have to be quick um so you've got various i'm just cycling through various different things that you can affect um one of the secrets that this has up its sleeve is uh you can basically um work repeaters using it so it's ctss which you can set and obviously you can set the offset so a nice little radio that will be able to work that usa repeater um, which i've worked several times um, which is pretty cool um, so nice little way to work repeaters on 10 meters uh, and as i said easy to use out of the box just get it plug it in and away you go and you can start scrolling through the band and uh, just listening for that opening as we said last week you know every now and then we get a nice little opening on 10 meters and what a handy little radio to have in the shack um, ready for that opening um, let's flip it round and we'll have a little look at the back and uh, we'll also have a look, little look inside so you can see just what it looks like inside and uh, yeah very, very good quality board in this one. So let's take a look at that now. Okay, so we're looking at the back now. You've got a nice big heat sink. As I said, this does 50 watts on FM, so it is going to generate a wee bit of heat and 60 watts on sideband. Uh, nice and simple. We've got an SO239 to connect our antenna. We've got the power cable. It's supplied with the power cable, as you would expect. We've got an external uh, speaker socket. Now the programming cable right there, that is not for uh, being able to do FT8. Um, so you can't use this to do FT8 by connecting it to a computer. I was able to do FT8 using this and I was simply using the microphone pickup um, on, the, um, uh, on, the, uh, on, the, on the computer itself. So I was able to decode, okay? So you can decode if you wanna see what's going on on FT8. Um, then we've got the PA, uh, which is quite typical of these um, cheaper radios. Um, we've got a little PA that you can plug in there. So that's the back of it, nice and simple. As I said, I keep using that word simple because it really, really is. Um, let's have a little look inside to see what that PCB board looks like. Let's do that now. Okay, so let's take the lid off quickly then and have a little look inside. Now, I'm not the best person to walk around an inside of the radio. For that, we probably need Mark. Um, but from my experience, it's a tidy little board um, filling the entire space of the radio. I know with some radios, um, you can end up having sort of like a, a board taking up two thirds of the space and the rest is just air. So this has been laid out really well and it is a compact little radio. Uh, it's an awesome little radio uh, that you can use on 10 meters. Also, it can be wide banded. If you get it wide banded it will also work on 12 meters over the weekend I worked on 12 meters believe it or not there was a, a, a little bit of uh, um, action on 12 meters over the weekend and I made two contacts as well as um, working a few people on 10 meters uh, with this little radio um, it'll also work on 11 meters for those that um, want to have a listen in on, on 11 meters um, it, it isn't type approved but obviously if you want to have a listen in on 11 meters it's still quite an active 
uh, band, uh, you can certainly do that. But predominantly uh, 10 meters, 12 meters, no problem at all. Uh, and once again, there's the speaker that you can see there. Uh, and it's a tiny little speaker, but the, as I said earlier, the sound and the clarity that you get out of it is absolutely astonishing. Um, it, it, even if I turned it on now and you had a listen, it, it wouldn't come across. Um, it, it's really something that you've got to experience yourself. So um, if you are in the area, come down and you are interested in the, uh, uh, the 5555, come down and have a listen to it. It's set up on display and maybe you can work a few stations um, with our antenna system here. So that's the inside, nice and tidy. Um, I'm gonna put this back together now um, and then we'll, we'll finish off with some, uh, some notes, some comments and my thoughts, overall thoughts about the AT5555. Okay, so we've got it all back together. So here are my final thoughts of living with the 5555 over the, over the weekend. Um, I really do, some of you might turn around and say, Dave likes everything, but I really, really like this little radio. And I had a, a lot of fun with it over the weekend. Uh, I like the fact it's got a little bit of um, go in it from a, a, a wattage point of view. So um, again, uh, we got 60 watts SSB. We got 60 watts AM. And then we got 50 watts FM. And I, I did a little video and uh, you should be able to see that now. And the results, that was a, a Powerstar AT2K I was using there. Um, to measure it so it was doing exactly what it says on the tim easy to use the screen fantastic to see in a in a dark shack um, i just had this up on the side i set my frequencies that i wanted it to scan and it was just scanning and picking up and um and then that's how i got my uh, qso so um in the box you get a lovely bracket you get the microphone, you get the radio, you get the power cord, you get everything. And for a radio that's sub 200 pounds, that's gonna work on 10 meters, 12 meters, and 11, you're gonna be able to listen on there. Absolutely perfect. So check it out, it's on our website now. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments, give one of the guys a call here, or come down, have a cup of coffee with us and operate the AT5555. So whirlwind tour, but a worthy one. And I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.